Hey, what's up everybody? The subject of this video is connecting diodes in series or bridge rectifiers in series. Now, I just recently looked up some information on this to uh, see how stable it was, how durable it was, and there was absolutely no information on this configuration. Everybody's talking about connecting diodes in parallel. This is a parallel connection diode that is made for high amperage DC current. Okay, now we all know about this configuration, but when you start looking up information regarding uh, a series connection and whether or not it can be done, I'm here to tell you that you absolutely can connect diodes in series. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, specifically, I was forced to use these diodes in a project that required 120 volts DC. However, these diodes are only 50 volts. They're 50 volt diodes. I, I believe they might even be uh, 50 amps. I can't remember. Okay, 25 amps. That's what they are. They're 25 amp diodes, and I've connected them in series because these are 50 volt diodes. And basically it's, what that does is gives us a 150 volt bridge rectifier by connecting them in series. Now, as far as durability, I have been running this setup for about five years on a very um, high output electrolysis cell. This thing uh, uses uh, 120 volts DC input and it converts it to 2.1 volts at about 1,000 some amps or so in between each plate. That's the amount of electrical current that's traveling through there. It, it acts like a transformer. But at any rate, yes, you can connect diodes in series to accommodate voltage requirements. It does work. I've had this thing forever. As you can tell, it looks like I put it together when I was five years old. Jeez, what the hell, dude? I would imagine I was in a hurry. Uh, nothing changes. So. I'm going to go ahead and post this video for anyone who's looking that subject up because I do like to provide information like that and I discovered a huge vacuum. Nobody has uh, any information on connecting diodes in series. These are three 50 volt diodes which has given us a 150 volt bridge rectifier. I'm sorry, 350 volt bridge rectifiers. I know some of you uh, techies are gonna chop my head off on that. <laughs> this is a bridge rectifier. Or is there another name for it? Is it a full wave rectifier? I'll probably, someone's gonna kick my ass in the comments on this, I know it. I'm not an elect electrician or an electronic enthusiast. I like to build stuff, so it's just more of a like, I have to stop and read a few books when I come to this part of a build. I can do it, and I enjoy it, but I'm more focused on the machine as a whole. Okay, so I'm correct. Man, that scared me there for a minute. <laughs> I was feeling really stupid. It's been so long since I built this thing. This is a 50 volt maximum DC block voltage. So, if you've ever asked yourself the question, can you connect diodes in series to acquire a rectified circuit with the voltage you're working with. So I have three 50 volt diodes and this thing has run many experiments and run my torch for years and it indeed has effectively built a 120 volt bridge rectifier. It actually has a 150 volt capacity. I can't remember what the voltage drop is. I do have those specs in um, the HHO torch manual. I'm sorry, the oxyhydrogen torch manual. I freaking hate that word, HHO. I, I can't stand it. It's like pseudoscience nonsense, in my opinion. That, that's what HHO is. This is an oxyhydrogen torch, not an HHO torch, for the record. 